Well, Les Moonves resigning as CEO of CBS after six more women came forward with new allegations of sexual harassment or assault. Still up in the air is whether Moonves will get his $120 million severance package. He may not. Or if he has any role with CBS going forward, there's news he may act as an advisor going forward to CBS. Now, our own Charlie Gasparino broke much of the story. As part of the resignation, CBS may work with Moonves to donate $20 million or more of his severance to one or more organizations supporting the Me Too movement. It could be deducted from his severance benefits. Let's take a check of CBS stock, closing the day in the red. Joining me now, Media Buzz host. He is the author of the book, Media Madness, Donald Trump, the Press, and the War Over the Truth. He is Howard Kurtz. Great to see you, Howard. These new allegations are shocking. What's your take? Yeah, I, I've read this piece in The New Yorker by Ronan Farrell three times, and it is absolutely chilling. Six women on the record, two of them talking about forced oral sex. One woman says she was pushed up against the wall. Tales of retaliation and ruined careers. As important as Les Moonves has been to CBS, dragging it out of third place and bringing it into a first place net broadcast network for 10 years, the board really had no choice, given the gravity of these allegations. There's no way that Moonves could have And, continued. you know, you make a great point, Howard, because all, this story is also hitting CBS in other ways. We've got people who are on t on air personalities talking about it. And look at this, the CBS show The Talk. Moonves's wife, Julie Chen, announcing today she's taking some time off from that CBS show The Talk, Howard. And Sharon Osbourne said on the air today, quote, Les Moonves has not been convicted of any crime, but he obviously the man has a problem. What's your take on the, how they're handling it over there? Well, both on that show and on CBS This Morning, where Nora O'Donnell said, look, Les has always been kind to me, but this kind of behavior is absolutely unacceptable. I think CBS, uh, at least the news division, has grappled with this quite well. The challenge for CBS now, Liz, is one, demonstrate to the world that it is changing the culture. And part of that will depend on when the outside investigation comes back and the CBS board, which has been changed to some degree, has to decide whether Moonves is, gets any of that $120 million or whether he was fired for causing get zero, that will be an important symbolic step, I think. And also, obviously, CBS needs to hire a new CEO who um, it may be difficult to duplicate uh, for all the dark side that we're learning about, the talent that uh, Moonves brought to running that company. Hey, Howard, what do you think the reaction is going to be if CBS keeps Les Moonves on as an advisor? Uh, generally one of disgust. I think some of the women who, by the way, deserve credit, even though in many cases many years later are speaking out on the record, going on TV on the mo their most humiliating moments. But they're going to feel betrayed. They're going to say, look, CBS did the right thing in getting rid of this guy, and now it's going to have a production deal with him, or it's going to pay him $100 million or whatever. Uh, it's hard to turn the page, and there are obviously be a lot of lawyers involved. But I think that will undermine CBS's efforts to say, hey, we know we had a problem. We dealt with it. We're changing the culture. We're moving forward. We want women to feel comfortable here. I think that will be a tough sell as any continuing relationship with Les Moonves. Great analysis, as always, from Howard Kurtz. Great to see you, sir. Come back soon.